Okay, there's another carbon plate. The uh, extra solar panel can just stay out there while we work, though. Okay. Okay. And now we just need one more. And then you can stop. And you can stop making the noise. <laughs> And I'll just shut those machines off. I really don't need them. There we go. These two make this thing, which goes in here. And then when all that's said and done, it goes in there. Oh dear, I need to make him a molecular transformer. Which requires two more of these. Uh, I guess we might as well call that step done. Well, anyway, let's just move this stuff over. Uh, this goes here. Advanced machine casing. How do I make an advanced machine casing? I need refined iron plates, carbon plates, advanced alloy, and a basic machine casing. So we can at least make the four machine casings, right? Well, not right now, because there's stuff in the way, but... Okay. I don't... Oh, right, I need to pound these. My bad. Okay, 16. Makes two. Blah, makes, blah, makes, this can go here, and then we do that, and then we have machine casings. Okay, so we have the four machine casings. We need refined iron plate, which is made in a metal former, or in a block cutting machine. This is more than I signed up for, guys. I might have to do a lot of this off screen, which is fine. Um, it's just that I won't have a lot to talk about while I'm actually building all this stuff. So let's do something fun real quick, just to like take a break. Um, I actually want to organize this better. So uh, this stuff can stay here. This can stay here. That can stay here. I'll take this. All the materials and stuff can stay here. I need this. That can stay here. And everything else I'm gonna go put away. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Let's go do that. Okay, cool. Oh, and this uh, dangerous wrench can stay inside of my bag. Here we go. So now we have a sword, a pick, a shovel, a bunch of torches, oh whoops, a bunch of torches, my backpacks, my glider, and we can just freaking go somewhere. Yeah. Did I bring a uh, bow? Yes I did. Here we go. Cool, and I guess we'll work on um, rounds for the musket later. There. Yeah, let's go on an adventure. I'm done crafting for, you know, now. Uh, let's see, what can we look at? Well, there's this floating island, uh, floating islands over there, or we could just pick a direction and go. Um, ooh, actually, let's fly up here to the top of the tree. We'll get a good look at our surroundings. Okay. Can't see super far. There's another portal there. There's another one over there somewhere. The village is also in that direction. Let's see. Uh, I think there's some uh, marsh over in that direction. Or I guess we could go ahead and visit the uh, floating islands over there. Let's do that. 
using up all my hydrogen. <laughs> okay, there we go. So there's the slime island. Okay, we can definitely kind of run with the uh, glider. Doesn't look like there's anything up here though. Just some slimy uh, trees. Sometimes they have chests up here, I think. Sometimes they have slime monsters, but I guess not this time. And then up here, there's a chest with cobwebs and flowers. And it doesn't look like it has anything else. Is there anything down here? Nope, I've just made a big hole in this thing. There's nothing to see here. Um, let's go explore that area over there. And um, real quick, I'm just gonna make it day. Here we go. Because no one wants to explore at night. Okay, there's another nether portal. I wasn't able to come up here before, so this is interesting. <laughs> I uh, shouldn't have switched from the uh, thingy. Ooh, what's that? Let's go look at that. That looks like a thing I'd be interested in. And it looks like there's a village up here. I think I remember seeing it on the map before, but I didn't have the opportunity to actually visit until, you know, just now. Okay, this just takes me up. Is there anything here? Hello? I guess this is just like a lookout tower or something. That's neat. We got to look at a neat thing today. <laughs> okay, and then over there is a village of some sort, I guess. I don't really need all this dirt. Boop. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it looks like a pretty standard village over here. Let's just see what is inside. In certain... Um, buildings you can find chests, like in the blacksmiths and, you know, places like that. But the churches also usually have good items. And with some of the uh, buildings in the mod pack, you'll find places like guard towers and barracks and things like that. Those also have a lot of good items. Good deals. Not in that church, though. I don't think it's a church. <sighs> Whatever. I'm just going to this blacksmith. Something in the furnaces. What's in here? Ooh! Sausage and bread. Those are delicious. A vial of Enchanter's Concentrate. A swig of Enlightenment. Mundane Power Crystal. Nether Quartz, Copper, Iridium Ore, which, you know, we've just found I need. Oh, whoops. There. And I guess we can just pop the stuff that we're not using right now in here, including the sausage and bread. Huh, that's nice. This is a nice detour. Okay, map. Is there anything else you'd like to show me? Or is that it for this area? I think that might be it for this area. Okay. Is there anything else interesting over here? I see green on the map over there. Let's see if there's like a fortress or something that we haven't explored yet. Because I wasn't able to- ooh, another village? And that there looks like a fortress. Okay, I don't see a blacksmith, but I do see a tower over here. There might be a chest in here. Let's just drop in and find out. Ooh, it does! And it's got three Thelma Nomcons in it. Why? <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna take them, I already have one. But, eh. Take a fire charge, too. And I'll take this uh, glowstone. Are there any other uh, good buildings here for me to loot? Doesn't look like it. Then again, you can find places like bookstores now. Or libraries. And look, there's two uh, buildings over here that we can um, liberate. Uh, let's see. Would it be cheating to drop in from above? 
I think so. Hi, fellas. 